tangible of coming in off of, uh, on that second night of a back to back, the energy that you guys had, especially defensively, like how big of a key was that tonight to being able to set a tone and, and get a lead there? Huge, huge. Stop that team. Uh, they can score with. We got 30 over there and they can really dominate the game. So it was a collective group effort and we came through. When when Cat has the mismatch like he does, I mean, did you just want to really exploit that as much as you could and, yeah. and, and ride him? Yep, yep. Give him, feed him, feed him, feed him. Uh, run out of food, feed him the fork. I don't know. Keep feeding him. <laughs> Coach was saying how he thought J Mac is giving you guys such a left Jordan McLaughlin right now. Like, what do you see both from him as a teammate? Just how, how the, the rhythm that he's found here? Both of them. Both of them. I think they're both huge. Jalen Noel was huge tonight as well. Nas Reed. All those guys, I know you used to be asking about J Mac, but all those dudes were huge tonight. Tory and Prince. Um, I think J Mac is the product of getting it out of the mud. You know, um, his route to get here and stay here and, and um, find a home here has, has been great. And we all respect him and his craft, so more than capable. Yeah, so the, the start of the fourth quarter, you're out there with mostly bench guys and, you know, steps out there. You extend the lead from 9 to 16 to 18. When, when the bench is playing like it was during that stretch and just overall the last couple of games here, what does it do for where you guys can go as a team, kind of the ceiling of, of this group? Um, I think it just changes our dynamic. Honestly, earlier in the season, we felt like we had to do much. We had to do more. Um, so everybody felt like they had to do more. Now we're falling into our position and roles into the team. Makes it easier. That guys like that to step up puts us in um, puts us in the mentality that we don't have to force it. You know, basketball on offense and. There was always a win and everybody ate. So was, I think it was good. When Malik has a night like he did tonight, uh, how do you, how do you try to step him up and, and try to maybe put him in advantageous positions to to get the shots where maybe he likes them or wants them the best? Uh, I mean, I'll play with him for a little bit now, so just knowing where he's uh, comfortable and where his feet set and watching film with him, and, you know, just trying to get him prepared for me. You know, when I'm going to give him the ball, so he's expecting it. Just things like that. We watch a lot of film together, so there's no surprises bringing that. It's been a while. You guys have thought you were good for quite a while now, but, you I mean, these stretches of games the last five or six weeks, you've earned your confidence. What 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 is that like when, you know, you're just putting together a series of wins against quality teams just in terms of how it, internally maybe raises the level of your teamwork? Uh, I think just knowing that uh, this last stretch is huge for us as a team, you know, and um, every game matters, you know, so we're not really, you know, trying to put anything to the side, underdo anything, you know, we're trying to overdo and just lock into what we can control. And as a team, that's just our energy showing up, locking into the scout and, and um, if we win, Wipe, wipe it down the just wash it down the drain onto the next one. That mentality, I think that's what you know is going to keep us, you know, elevated. Sort of the fourth it seems like it's either going to go there back in the game, or you guys can push it out. You guys pushed it out. Is that a sign of maturity? I guess understanding that moment, doing what you need to do in that spot. It's just what the game is, is present. You know, it presented us to we made shots. Now we had to get stops this game. Next game it might be we we don't get make shots and. It might be the other way around. So I think it's just whatever the game presents, we got to lock in to it. Tonight was one of those games where we knew we had to lock in. We know a lot of, not a lot of easy baskets for that team. We can limit that. We know it'll be a, uh, the game will be in our favor. That team can score a, a, a super high club. Becoming a end of the first half and end of the second half, sort of, or end of the quarter of a time thing where you're drawing fouls. Late, late in the quarter. <laughs> they read your tweets. They hear your comments, man. <laughs> they don't know now. They don't want to. Uh, we keep putting our J-Mac live on the display. We don't even know that. It's, but um, it's like cool groups, right? Respect. <laughs> um, what, what, what difference does it make when you can play in the bonus in the end of, a, end of a quarter? It's huge. It's huge. You know, um, we see how Philly came in and ran through us, you know, by being the bonus every quarter super early. It just affects the game. You know, you, you can control the game. You, you affect the other team's rhythm, things of that sort. So it's huge. I mean, I watch a lot of Chris Paul. Nobody's playing the way he's playing. You know, just trying to dominate the game from up top. You know, not, you know just 
basketball. It's all mental up there with his game, and I watch and I watch and I study him. And I try to bring that element to the game as well. Thanks, Sheila. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.